To make these easy purse handles, I'm going to use these craft metal rings. And I got these at the dollar store, a dollar twenty-five for fifteen pieces. And that's what they look like, and I would call them key rings, but on the package they were called craft metal rings. And I'm going to work with some worsted weight yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. So pull the yarn through the ring and take one stitch. Now you're going to single crochet, so just pick up the yarn and pull it through that ring and then pick up the yarn and pull it through like that. And I'm just going to do five and that will be for the first ring. Like that, so that you have a ring to attach it to your bag or purse. Pick up the next string and place it in front of the yarn and then pull the yarn through that ring like that. I'm going to make nine more single crochet. So that was one and it's going to be a total of ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Like that, so that's half of the ring. Take the next string and do the same thing. Place it in front of the yarn and then pick up the yarn and pull it through and make a total of ten single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so you just continue to add rings and you're going to keep working like that. So you add as many rings as you'd like. When you get to the last one, you're going to put it in front of the yarn, pull the yarn through, and then make five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Now that is going to be the ring at this end. Now you're going to turn that ring and you're going to bring it up here like this. And you're going to make ten more single crochet in that metal ring. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's what that looks like. This will be attached to your purse and now you have one ring completed. Now you just go directly into the next ring and you make ten single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so that was your end one. And then you have a ring completed and another ring completed. And you're just going to complete as many rings as you would like for the length of your handle. And when you get back to your final ring, you're going to slip stitch to join in that first stitch. Like that. So you have a ring on each end to attach to your bag. And that's how your handbag handle will look. Now you could use this method to make a belt or bracelet or curtain tie backs. Post below if you have any other ideas on what this could be used for. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.